Dear students, in this video, I am going to solve the projections of planes problem. The problem is something like this. Draw the projections of a rhombus having diagonals 125 mm and 50 mm long, the smaller diagonal of which is parallel to both the principal planes, while the other is inclined at 30 degrees to the HP. For solving the planes problem, we have to extract the information such as surface inclination and edge inclination. But here surface inclination is not given directly, but it is given indirectly. It is like this. Surface is inclined 30 degrees to HP. But here, while the other diagonal is inclined 30 degrees to HP, something like the diagonal inclination is given. But this diagonal inclination, we can consider as the surface inclination because the longer diagonal is inclined to HP, at the same time, smaller diagonal is parallel to HP. As long as the smaller diagonal is parallel to HP, the longer diagonal inclination we can consider as the surface inclination. Okay, that is the important point that we have to observe here. Okay, now the surface is 30 degrees to HP. Hence, keep the surface parallel to HP. When the surface is parallel to HP, we will get true shape and size in the top view. Hence, start the problem from the top view. Okay, next. Smaller diagonal must be parallel to VP. That's why in the simple position, keep it perpendicular to VP. Okay. First, I'll start drawing the problem. Then you can understand this pro this point. Take the XY line. We have to start from the top view. First, take the 125 diagonal. Then draw 50 diagonal like this at the center. Now, project complete the rhombus like this name it as a b c d then project the front view here you will get a dash this is b dash d dash this is c dash then in the second stage somewhere here you take a dash and draw this particular line at an inclination of 30 degrees because this longer diagonal inclination is nothing but the surface inclination so that's why the surface inclination I am representing in the second stage 30 degrees. Then A dash to B dash distance you measure with compass and mark that here. That is B dash and D dash. A dash to C dash distance you measure with compass and mark from this A dash. Then you will get C dash here. Now draw the projectors from the front view, locus lines from the top view like this. This is the projector. This is locus. Here you will get A. This is the projector of B dash D dash. This is the locus of B. Here you will get B. This is the projector and locus for C. Then the reduced top view will be like this. This is the reduced top view. Here the diagonal, smaller diagonal BD is now perpendicular to VP. It is parallel to HP because that you can observe here. BD is like a line. This line is now parallel to HP. But this is parallel to both means you have to tilt this to 90 degrees to make this parallel to VP. That's why I am tilting this to 90 degrees, this top view, I am tilting to 90 degrees in the clockwise direction like this. Okay, This particular BD length I will draw here. This is BD. At the midpoint you draw a perpendicular representing this AC. This is AC. This is A and C. Now draw the projectors and locus lines to get the final front view here. The projector of A, locus of A dash, this is A dash, here I will get B dash, then here I will get C dash, here I will get D dash. A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash is the final front view. In this way, we can solve this problem when this surface inclination is given indirectly as a longer diagonal inclination. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.